Huzzah, huzzah, it's another refurbished shark, this time a Duo Clean AX950, which did have electrical connection issues. I do not know if it still has those. What I do know is it looks pretty flipping nice now. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this is the time of filming this, the third of my shark job lot that has been done. This one is the purple AX950, which does look very nice indeed. Obviously only these bits are purple and you can change those very, very easily. But, you know, it is there nonetheless, just like the others in there isn't as clean as it really could be even though you can on this larger model take off the inner cone which has cleaned up fairly well I haven't, I haven't turned this on yet i'm saving the is it actually fixed for this video so yeah there we go in here is very nice we have the original filters i haven't bought new filters for any of the ax's you'll see on the mv 680 and 681 videos We'll be putting new ones in all of those, but these I haven't bought new ones yet, and certainly this pre motor filter has come up absolutely fine, nothing wrong with that at all. And in there, it's also very, very nice indeed, which is good because this one was disgusting. Hose still smells slightly, we'll come to the hose in a second. We may as well drop the cable because we'll need to anyway when we plug it in. And Come on to the hose, as we alluded to earlier, which is okay, I think. I don't think that there wasn't really a problem with this hose. One thing I have done, though, is taped off this vent. Now, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have to untape it again. There are certainly, having talked to collectors, a few schools of thought where people say that they can't use their machine without that open on certain types of carpet. I don't know. We'll find out. Be a laugh, won't it? Moving round back, we have the one which can't take apart, and I haven't. I've left the tape on this, actually. You remember the before video? Or if I didn't do it on the before video, I have done it. I tried to bodge it with tape on each of the ends, and it didn't work. But there was a dicky connector. One of the end ones here wasn't springing, so I'm a little bit hopeful, but... Not really. This is quite good though, because this head isn't the same as the machine anyway. This is an AX950 head. This is an, oh, an yeah, that's an AX950 UK. Mr. James said it wasn't the right head for this machine. And you probably all commented on the before video, but the before video hasn't gone out at the time we filming this. So I don't know. Either way, it's very nice. I didn't realise that this front bit here was rubbery. That's a thing. And yeah, it's just in very, very good condition. I wonder if it was like a warranty job. Not long before whatever killed this, well, it wasn't dead. Whatever made this machine be thrown away, you know, happened. I don't know. It's very strange, but I'm not complaining. It's why I'm doing this one first, because be a good source of parts, if nothing else. But I need to not do anything else to it yet. So it works out if it works, and more importantly, if it works without cutting out. Because that will dictate the next steps. Let's give it a go. Promising, we have ooh, lots of airflow. Here we go. it. I'm not seized that up. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Let me troubleshoot. Like I say, I haven't tested. This is why I normally test them before I do these, but you know, I haven't yet. Um, hmm. I'm going to be honest here and tell you why you must be careful. 
when you reassemble the head. What I think has happened is I trapped those there and there because I put the motor on the other way. I think this white wire wants to be at the back because it's longer. And all that has caused this trouble. Look, I've had to strip it all down. Don't worry, we've got a couple of head videos coming. But yeah, have a look. While we're here, that's the vent in the head that I blocked up. There's tape underneath there as well. Again, just to see what happens. I'm not actually entirely sure what that bit does. So it comes out of there and goes there. It might actually be to draw the hot air from this away. I don't know, really. Ooh. Right. Let's see if it works now the soldering iron's warmed up. Well, I'm fairly confident that that's hopefully the issue. Whew. Let's find out. Oh, what I haven't done, and we definitely don't want to vacuum these up, is put the four little tiny glamour caps on the side because they are getting chewed up. You really want us to be very thin. To get those out, put those there just in case it isn't fixed, and I just stop this video in a half and go to bed. Ha! Hard floor. Way so that was that. Cool. It's quite hard to push. Let it clean up its own mess. And of course, because I take the vents up, the the first two settings are the start. Ah, you don't eat yourself. The only setting there that makes a difference is the hard floor setting that turns off the thing. That feels quite good. Obviously, I don't really have a benchmark for it. We can see already that it's picked up. A load more sawdust out of the floor. I filmed a fair few videos today and that's had two NV680s across it. Oh, we don't want that. It's had all sorts. Right, I'm actually going to take this up now and look at my actual rug because as disgusting as it is, it will, it will show up the pile better with that. And I want to see if it skips. Time of filming this video, I have a new rug in the post, hopefully. By the time this video is out, I've started filming videos on it. Oh, but until then. Ooh. It's quite hard to push, but wow. So this is what I want to see. I don't think it would have done that before. I mean, it's still horrible to push. But that's more this rug, but oh my goodness! Look at that! Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, there you go against the rug though, and there, uh, you can see it, that's the base plate scraping. Oh, this is really quite nice! It wasn't bad that we did, 10 o'clock at night. Let's go backwards on here. Oh! I just felt the forehead bit though. It has just pulsed again, but only once. That's so nice though to see it moving like that. You just can't go that way across the road. I've got to go this way. Oh. That is pretty cool because I was a little bit, the NV801 underwhelmed me a lot, mainly because it was quite flimsy. These AXs are a lot nicer. I prefer it instantly just because of that. Oh, we had one blip on the wand, but wow, we've picked up some actual dirt dirt this time. Crikey, that's... That's a bit nice. Filter is still fairly spotless, and I neglected to say that. Oh, lovely. I have washed the filter that came in it. Again, I haven't bought anything for these yet, so they are wearing their washed filters. I say they, because this is the first one that's been done. This is the 
started. Because people always say to me, oh, can you show me how to take X apart or Y apart? I was like, no, not until I've done a machine first myself. And this is the first AX950. And quite honestly, it is really quite simple. So, the benchmark is done. Because of the wiring issue, I am not selling this. So not straight away, maybe not at all, because I don't know if it's cured. It seems a lot better, but I don't know if it's cured. So I think I'm going to keep it around for a bit, give it some use and see what it's actually like. And hey, experience a shark duo clean, because yeah, I, I cannot in all good honour sell that. Not when I could probably make that look not too dissimilar to it. And this one doesn't have dodgy wiring. So, yeah, we can... I can sell it in confidence. So, that's it for now. Stay tuned, however, because definitely isn't going to be the last we're going to see of this powered lift away duo clean. <sighs> so, I and this will see you soon. Bye bye.